Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking about iOS 15 and its top 10 features for iPhone users. Now, what I mean by that, these are features that are actually very useful and iPhone users will find themselves using on daily basis on their device using iOS 15. Now iOS 15 has a lot of new features and changes. It has like more than 300 new features and changes, but of course a lot of them are not features that you can use or will use on daily basis. But these 10 that I'm about to show you guys are, in my opinion, the best new features that iPhone users will find very useful while using their device on iOS 15. All right, to start it off with the feature that a lot of us thought was a glitch at the beginning, but it turns out it is a new feature on iOS 15. Now, iOS 15 will let you have multiple icons of one app on like different pages of your device. So I can have like an icon here, maybe have another one here for the same app. So maybe an app that I use frequently, I use a lot and I just wanna have it right there on the home screen doesn't matter in which page I am. So in this case, let's go ahead and do this. So from the app library, what you need to do is just go to the edit mode and drag like any of the apps that you want. So in this case, we're gonna do that with the app store and I can have app store right there on the second page of my home screen. I have it here as well. And you can see I can open app store there and I can go ahead and of course open it in here as well. This is really, really cool. You can have access to your favorite app or the app that you use the most on any page on your home screen. Now, the cool thing is that you can do even more than two. You can add as many as you want. So you just go ahead, drag them right there from the app library and you can have like one app in multiple pages on your iOS 15 device. On iOS 14, Apple has introduced Shazam, which is now basically music recognition, and it has just been added to the control center of your iOS device. You can, of course, enable that if you don't have it by going to your settings. You go right here to the control center, and you will find music recognition somewhere down here. If you don't have it enabled already, you just go ahead, tap the plus button, and you're good to go. But with iOS 15, you will find a very useful feature which music recognition didn't have on iOS 14. And that's the ability to take a look at the history of the recognized songs. So if you have an iOS 14 device right now, just try searching for a song with Shazam with basically music recognition. It will show you the song and the artist, of course, but you will no, no longer find that anywhere on your device. Now with iOS 15, you just three to touch right there and you will see the history here and you will see a list of all the songs that you have found using music recognition. Of course, if you want to remove one of them, you just slide like that and you will have a delete button. Moving on to new widgets, we have two amazing widgets that Apple has added to iOS 15. One of them being the mail widget. This one is really useful and of course I will use it on daily basis on my iOS 15 device. It's really cool and if you get a ton of emails then of course that will be very very helpful for you. So you can choose basically whatever you want to display right there on the widget. Now you will have two choices. You will have the medium widget and you will have the bigger one as well. Now if you 3D touch on the widget you can tap on edit right here and you can choose the mailbox that you want to see right there so anything that you have any of your mailboxes you can display any one you want right there on the widget now of course you can have multiple different widgets of the mail app and of course have like different mailboxes on any one of those and of course the second one is the contacts widget that is awesome as well and it allows you to quickly like call message facetime any of your contacts directly from the home screen. Now you can have the small one with just one contact or you can have the bigger one with four or even the biggest one as well. Now the process here is very simple. You 3D touch on it, you go ahead and tap on edit contacts, tap right there and just pick any of the contacts that you have on your contacts list and you can display it right there on your home screen and then of course quickly call FaceTime or message that contact directly from the home screen. Now with iOS 14, Apple has introduced the feature right here that basically allows you to hide and of course display pages on the home screen of your device. Now what Apple did with iOS 15, they just got basically took the features from iOS 14 and made them even better. And this one has gotten a lot better. 
now you can only rearrange pages like this so on your home screen just simply move the pages right here they will be rearranged of course on the home screen as well you can see how cool that is but you can now also remove pages completely like delete a complete page with apps of course the apps won't be deleted they will be just moved to the app library and that of course is very useful now the way to do it first of all you need to dis disable that page from the home screen by tapping right there on the check mark and then tap the minus button right there and remove the page from your home screen and now all of those apps have been moved to the app library next up we're moving to the settings app and right here we have one of the best and one of my favorite features of ios 15. go to general and just scroll down right here to transfer or reset iphone and right here you have prepare for new iphone basically apple now is allowing you to take free space on icloud in order to move your data to your new iphone so if you just tap right there iOS basically Apple will give you free space on iCloud so that you can move all of your data so you can see right here we have extra iCloud storage to move apps and data so you go ahead and move all of your apps and data to your to the iCloud and then of course once you get your new iPhone you move them to your new iPhone and of course that free space is temporary as long as you need just to move your data and then you're good to go that is an amazing feature and of course a lot of people will find it very very useful we're continuing on the settings app but now we're moving to Safari a very good privacy feature that has been added to iOS 15 under Safari right here we find hide IP address now if you go right here you will have the option here to hide your IP address from trackers so this is a great privacy feature now with iOS 15 as always Apple has included a lot of new security and privacy features this being one of them which I believe will be very very useful and I suggest every ios 15 user to go ahead and switch to this of course just go ahead check the settings if you have it at off make sure you turn it on from trackers right here that will basically hide your ip and protect your privacy from trackers another amazing feature that apple has added to ios 15 has just been added right now on the last few betas i believe it was maybe beta 7 maybe even 8 i don't know but it's a notification feature that i really really like and i believe will be very useful for a lot of people now you go to notifications and right here you will find mail now what you can do right here is go ahead and customize the notifications based on the email account so right here on my phone i have two different emails email accounts of course i have a private one and i have one for the channel and if i just go ahead and go right here to customize notifications you can see what we get here so the accounts are right here and I can go ahead and customize the alerts the badges and the sounds for each of the mail accounts so of course maybe you want one to be more silent you want one to have another sound you can go ahead and do that for different mails that you have right here on your iPhone on iOS 15 that of course if you have more than one will be very very useful now here is another one that is very small, very simple, but yet is very useful. How many times have you been on a conversation with someone on iMessage and then you need to call that person on FaceTime? You will have of course to go out of the app, go into the FaceTime app, find that contact and call them from there. Now with iOS 4, with iOS 15 actually, you can do that directly from the conversation right here without having to leave the iMessage app. You're doing right here conversation you're talking something you need a call just go ahead and tap that button right there and you can go ahead and choose between facetime audio and of course facetime video and make the call directly from here for the next one we're moving to the lock screen on ios 14 if you need to search something on the spotlight search you will need to go into your device and of course unlock your device go to the spotlight search and search for anything you want with iOS 15, you can do that directly from the lock screen. No need to go into the home screen and all that. Just swipe down right here on the lock screen. And you can just go ahead and choose whatever you want to search on your device. And with iOS 15, the search has also been improved a lot on the spotlight search. You can now even search for photos, anything you want right on here on the spotlight search of your device. It's really amazing. Now, even if you have like apps that you want to search for, you can delete them. You can drag them from the spotlight 
spotlight search to the home screen which again is very useful as well and of course it makes it a lot easier to find anything you want and last but not least of course the one of the biggest features of ios 15 and that is live text this is an amazing feature and you will find yourself using on daily basis on your iphone it works pretty much anywhere on ios whether that be maybe a photo or a screenshot i can take a screenshot right here and go ahead and select any text i want right there on the screenshot or i can tap the button and it shows me all the different texts that i can select from here now it works really well on websites as well of course but even on like pictures that are within a website you can see right here i can go ahead and select that text as easy as that of course i can even translate it from there it works really really well with a camera as well you just point your camera to any text or maybe like a phone number that you need any like email address or anything you want it will just go ahead scan that and of course you can go ahead and even make a phone call directly from here simply by pointing the camera to a phone number which is an amazing feature and again very very useful for a lot of iphone users so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are in my opinion the top 10 features of ios 15 for iphone users now ios 15 is coming out in a few days now on september 15th we should get the public release of ios 15 and that will be really great a lot of amazing features and of course including those 10 that i just showed you guys which in my opinion are some of the best and of course ones that users will use the most on their iphone on ios 15 so that's about it guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one